Hey, little Boosie. Hey, little Boosie. First of all, rest in peace to Bleak. Rest in peace to Lil Ivy and free Marlo Mike. You know what I'm saying? Boosie, but you got a lot to explain to do, bro. I got in a conversation with a person from your town, one of Lil Ivy's family members, and I got an interview I'm about to set up, but before the interview, I said, let me do this type of video and just talk to y'all right quick. Look, this is not me saying Little Boosie is guilty of nothing, but we need to start talking about these conversations. Now, we know for the longest, everybody been saying Little Boosie killed Bleak. I'm not gonna say allegedly, because people are saying that. I'm not saying Boosie killed, so I don't have to use the word allegedly. People over the years been saying Boosie. I know when I was younger, people say he got Bleak killed when I was a little bit younger. And then it started getting more deeper where people saying he got Ivy killed. I'm not gonna go deep on what's what because I wasn't there, but we are gonna bring connections to everybody. You got Ivy family really ain't fucking with you, Boosie. This can't just be no money thing, bro. It's moves you did behind the scenes and in front of that camera, my God. Shout out to your son, Tootie Raw. I think he is gonna be raw. I just listened to his new album that just, well, his song that just dropped four days ago. The, the, little, the little nigga sound lit, bro. But at the end of the day, we need to answer some questions, bro. The death behind Bleak and Lil Ivy look very weird, bruh. And these is your day ones, bruh. I'ma just talk about the things that make you look guilty, bro. The fact that you ain't never promoted this nigga Ivy. I know you was fine for your life. Shout out to you, bro. But so many times during the time of you fine for your life, you ain't never threw up their names no more. You ain't never threw up Bleak name no more. Even you been home, like, bruh, let's, let's stop talking about that jail sentence, bro. How long this nigga been home now? Since you been home, bro, I ain't never heard Ivy and Bleak name really come out your mouth. You got Bleak Day and Ivy Day, but you ain't the one who really hold that down. I talked to them folks in Baton Rouge, bro. You ain't the one who hold them days down. And fat folks in them don't like seeing you around like that. That's why you don't come around there when it's their day. Yeah, I know about that already. You, you do a little high and by, and you send somebody over there to drop something. And the last time you sent somebody to drop a little paperwork, which is money, they didn't want it from you. They dismissed it so people can't hit Ivy brother, or, I mean, uh, son and nephew. Shout out to Lit Yoshi. I, I think he's freed right now. Now, I think he might still be locked up. I got to check. But Lit Yoshi or the son of Lil Ivy or the sister, the daughter, family members, bro, they ain't lying, bro. They really don't. It's not about a money thing, bro. This is your, your man's. And your name is in, involved in so many things in a situation, bro, that it look hella crazy, bro. And then the things you could have done to make yourself not look guilty is actually staying solid, my nigga. You wasn't solid through this whole process, my nigga. You ain't never turned up for TBG, bro. That shit weird, bro. That's some pussy boy shit, bro. Educational purpose. How the fuck you don't turn up for, bro? If TBG is part of my partner's organization, this my man's right here since day one, bro. I'm going hard in the paint for TBG. In fact, I'm TBG, bro. That shit gonna be tatted on the head everywhere. I'm exaggerating, but y'all know what I mean. I'm TBG for life then. You barely even speak on folks in them name, bruh. But you dick ride everybody else. I seen you jumping on NBA Youngboy Wood Tip years ago. Yeah, let's not make that up. And then when he never really embraced you like that, you kind of fell back a little bit. Now you trying to embrace Fredo Bang. He my cousin, y'all. He, he my cousin, which it could be true. I almost, well, I actually did end up beating up my own cousin during a marriage, and we all, educational purpose, me and all my cousins whooped his ass up. Then we find out this nigga ain't just our cousin, he's our first cousin. Yeah, my mama's cousin, son. So it's like, damn, the world is small like that. But at the end of the day, nigga, you tweaking, bro. You, you, you riding other niggas' coattails that don't even respect the legacy of Boosie. You sucking YFN Lucci Rod. You all over begging little baby to come in your little boosie bad. You little whole flute nigga out here. Why don't you give the same energy you did with Mo3? You do that shit and go do its track with TBG. But it's too late now. It's up there, stuck there. Them niggas don't want to fuck with you, bro. You just shaky. You fluke. You iffy. You, you just baloney, bro. Just fake, 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 bro. And I'm trying to be... Bro, I seen you got on your knees for the nigga on Instagram. You did that three times, bro. It's something wrong with you right now, and niggas ain't telling you the truth, bruh. I hope your son become more stand-up than you, bruh. You only can live that death row situation for so long. After that, we're gonna ask questions, bruh. You can't live off the legacy of being locked up for that long, bro. And you wild, Boosie, and you wrong, Boosie. That shit ain't right. I can't let that shit just get a pass like that, my nigga. That shit ain't right what you doing. You, you done finessed the whole movement. You done taught us already this whole shit is fake. TBG just needed an alley-oop. And you couldn't even fucking do that for them, bro. They just wanted an alley-oop, bruh. An alley-oop. 
you give it mode three, everybody, in the mama, even before that, even in 2014, 15, 16, all the alley you, how the fuck you got out of prison and you all oversee murder dick, bro? Pause, educational purpose. But you got your whole man's got a record company. He got artists, everything, niggas that's living off the legacy of your man. We don't even want to talk about Bleak situation. That's all some shit Bleak did to protect you, bro. Your baby mama brought it out. But if she was a clout chaser like you said on Vlad TV, wouldn't your baby mama go to all these platforms and talk about how you killed her brother and all this and that? She only said it during live. You could tell she was emotional. She tired of the fuck shit you saying about her. Oh, my ugly baby mama. Bro, nigga, how you gonna just go call your baby mama ugly, bro? And y'all call that some real shit. Oh, I, I don't care if they got a bad relationship. Bro, that's the mother of your kids, bro. I understand if you around her and you call her ugly. But to the whole world, my baby mama's a ugly. I'ma tell the truth. Bro, you look lame, bro. You ain't certified. You ain't, bro. And you never was a stepper. Let's just let's just get that out the way. I talked to them folks already. You never was no stepper. You never was that. You just a little nigga that served a little bit dank here and there. And you rock with the real steppers. Yeah. We all know. Yeah, we all know that, Boosie. You ain't no nigga like that. Niggas scared for Boosie. Nah, niggas worry about the little steppers around you that you still got right now. But where's that energy for TBG? Did you kill little Ivy and Bleak? I'll never get on here and say you did. Notice... I'm wording it different, but at the same time, you look shaky, my nigga. And them folks gonna do some things to you if they see you. Now look at your son, bro. Now you 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 know your kids inherit your beef in real life. It's a spiritual thing. God set that shit already. So now your kids gotta deal with boosy beefs out here. You know how crazy that look? A beef that could have been prevented and fixed because these niggas loved you. Little Ivy seen that you ain't really looking out like that. All right, my nigga, I'm about to go do my own thing. Now you hating on this nigga behind the scenes, stopping that nigga from getting signed. Yeah, you think I didn't know that. You stopped him from getting signed. We all knew that years ago. I forgot the nigga that died. Um, I forgot his name who was uh, hating on Boosie, then he ended up dying. He was a rapper from Baton Rouge. Y'all helped me out with his name. I can't believe I forgot his name. But he brought it up too. You got your partner killed and you you had your hands dirty behind it and he said you blocked him from being signed. Why everybody say the same shit, bro? And these ain't no regular people, bro. These are your people, bro. Might not be best friend, but people who are tied and connected forever with you, bro. And it's the same story. But we give you passes because you the funny, goofy nigga on Instagram, right? You the goofy nigga that got hoes twerking. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You doing steps for Kappa. You doing your steps looking corny than a bitch, bro. Like this, Boosie. Nigga, you a good father and all that, but being a good daddy doesn't give you an excuse from being a fuck, nigga. Like, that doesn't erase that. Like, who who, who made the rules, G? Bleak was a real nigga that what I heard and the these folks was about to do this interview, Bleak did everything for you, allegedly. I can't go too deep on that. Bleak did everything, my nigga. And we ain't gonna even talk about Lil Ivy. You say Boosie name wrong in front of Lil Ivy, he going crazy like he did for years for you. He was the one who held you up. Beak was the other one who made sure. Yeah, niggas act right. Now, what you did for your folks in them? They been dead how long? What you ever did, bruh? You ain't did shit. In fact, you sent your little nigga allegedly on these little murder runs. And it is what it is, but you dirty this nigga name every chance you get. Mike, was he gonna snitch on you? I ain't gonna lie, he was. But then he remembered the, the situation. I think y'all just low-key put pressure on Mike and Marlo didn't end up snitching no more. But other than that, bro, the whole shit make you look bad. So let Yoshi got a right to be going in on you. Lil Ivy Jr. and the sisters and all that, the daughters, they got a right to not like you. If I'm Lil Ivy's family and kids, I'll have a disdain for everything that represents Lil Boosie. I'll have a disdain on you. If I'm bleak, I'm staring at, if I'm bleak's family, I'm like, I need to get on this little Ivy shit too. Why should be Ivy and them family? Everybody should get on this uh, wood tip. Facts, bro. The whole situation with you, bro, is just flu. I, I can't give you no passes, bro. I'ma look at the situation with you and just get reminded, bro. It be the ones closest to you doing some fuck boy shit, period. It always be the ones closest to you, bro. Regardless of the situation, you just got to get smart to it and get hip to it, bruh. Boosie, little Ivy and Bleak, death is on your hands right now. Maybe you didn't do it allegedly and all that. You damn sure didn't represent them right. So when niggas is asking, did little Boosie kill little Ivy? I never defend you no more. I say probably so. Who knows? Right. I ain't going to stick out my neck for a nigga that can't stick out his neck for the niggas who are his day ones. You showed out already, homie. You showed yourself out, bruh. 
So I ain't dealing with the Boosie business no more. Boosie showed him and played. He played himself, man. Let's not cap no more. Boosie, you played yourself, man. I'm going to continue doing these videos, but you played, bro. You just a bitch nigga, bro. It is what it is, man. This ain't the old Boosie. Y'all could go run and tell Martin Lawrence looking ass nigga Boosie that he is. Salute to you and the people, man. Look, I'm your God bless one. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed.